today is just look at some general ATER exam skills which are really important for you on the course. Now, we're going to look at what we call assessment objectives, and we've got three types of assessment objectives. We've got A01, A02, and A03. So let's just go through them. So, assessment objectives. Now, do remember that this is what the examiner's looking for in your essays. Okay, so you, to get the marks, you've got to put in what they want. You've got to meet the criteria. So what we've got, let's go through first A01. The most simplest, really, is A01. Here, what you're doing is you're just discussing the knowledge, you're just giving a simple outline of whatever it might be. So, for example, if it was a theory of, say, Bowlby, or if it was a theory of Bandura, you're just giving a very simple outline, showing the examiner your knowledge of that theory. And that's A01, okay? And in the exam, you're going to be looking at around eight marks for that, okay? Then we have assessment objective two. Now, it gets a little bit more, here, you, you know, you're going to have to stretch yourself a little bit here. And what they're looking for is an evaluation. An evaluation comprises of what are the strengths and the weaknesses of, for example, the theory. So what are the strengths and the weaknesses of um, the evolutionary approach, what are the strengths and weaknesses of Bandura, or something like that. Now, the other thing that goes into AO2, if you looked at some of the previous kind of sessions that Andrew's done recently, IDA. IDA will be credited in your AO2. And don't forget that, that's really important. Okay? And you're going to be looking at around 12 marks for your AO2. So remember, your AO2 is an evaluation, you're looking at strengths and weaknesses. So what I can say to you is, like, for example, if I was going to ask you about your mobile phone, and I was going to say to you, what, give me some AO1 on your mobile phone. You'll just tell me very simply about your mobile phone, what it does, MSN, and so on and so forth. Just give me a general outline. But if I was to ask you then, give me some AO2 on your mobile phone, you could tell me, for example, well, Karen, you know, the MSN is really good, my apps are really good, but the reception's really poor, and other things. You see what I mean? So you've got the strengths and the weaknesses, and that's exactly what you do with a the theory. All right? You're just assessing it. And don't forget, you've got the, AO, the IDA that also comes in that section. Finally, you've got A3, Assessment Objective 3. Now, this is where a lot of students actually forget, and they don't include this in their essays, and you do get marks, but you get four marks, so it's worth putting it in. At this point, you're evaluating the research, or what we also call the methodology, okay? You're evaluating the research. So, in other words, you're kind of thinking, well, what's the problem with research? You put it in your essay, hopefully you've grounded it, like Andrew's told you, but what are the issues with it? So what you need to consider are things like generalisation. Are there generalisation issues with this? Can you generalise it like from a controlled lab study to the outside world? Does it lack external validity? What about ethics? Are there ethical issues with the study that you've been discussing? Mundane realism. Does it lack mundane realism? Is it like real life or not? So do remember all of these assessment objectives in your essay to get the full marks that you want to get You've got to include AO1, AO2, and your AO3. And good luck.